Francisco Castillo Fierro. I'm the director of Orlando Learning here at Cristo Rey San Jose Jesuit High School. It's, I started using it back two years ago with my English support classes to help my English support students just set goals at the beginning of the week and see at the end of the week did they meet them and have a chance to reflect on those goals. And so I was helping them track their goals, helping walk them through their reflections, assessing them on these reflections, uh, and then them tracking their GPAs and seeing if they grew. So it was really, really interesting. Yeah, it's awesome. So some of the ways that I've used Stone to Grow is to set my goals at the beginning of the week. And so this has really helped me stay on top of the things because um, it's a website that I can use to look back on what I'm supposed to do. And so um, it's helping me become a better student because I want to be able to implement this organization more, um, especially as I go into college because um, I know that I'm going to need that um, study tactic in order to be able to go through all my classes and actually remember what I need to be doing. Yeah, I think personally for me, I think it's been helpful because it keeps you more organized in a way where you, you kind of know what you're doing. Like if you're lost in class, you're like, oh, this is due this week. Um, I have this coming up, and it kind of it kind of reminds you to like kind of be on track, track in a way for that week. Yeah. Um, and also for the reflective part on Fridays, uh, I usually well it asks us, okay, what what techniques have you used uh, to organize yourself this week? Uh, are there any new techniques that you would want to try? Um, and that's actually pretty interesting too because I feel like I reflect on how I did this week, uh, what techniques were like useful to me, um, and what techniques weren't. Uh, and what's really cool about it too is that there's like emojis, and I find that really that's really cool because um, I feel like that's a that's a good thing to do because um, our teacher knows how we felt that week, and we also know how we felt that week, like we're reflecting on it. Uh, there was also a summary button where. Uh, you have like it shows you like uh, all your reflections and how like how have you been keeping up to date with your assignments, um, and that gives me uh, an overview of how I've been doing so far, and that's really helpful too because I know that I can either uh, reuse the techniques I've been working on to complete my assignments and keeping myself organized, um, and so that is really helpful. Yeah, definitely. So when I started using Sona Girl last year, I did a GPA tracking. Uh, to see if they actually move the needle in GPA. And all of my classes move the GPA in just one trimester using so to grow by like 0.5, which is pretty remarkable, considering all we were doing just goal setting and reflecting. It's also set this um, sort of interesting space for the seniors to reflect and write out how their week has gone. And something that I didn't anticipate was that being a really safe space for them to tell me what's going on in their lives, uh, things that are happening personally at home. For me to have a conversation with those kids, whereas before I wouldn't have, because I wouldn't have known about these things, right? About how they're feeling. So that's something that I didn't intend to occur, but did occur, and it's a beautiful thing to have a conversation with a kid about, you know, mom losing a job or not getting into certain colleges you really wanted to get into and how that's affecting your work and your performance and then how to really think about how to overcome those difficulties and those challenges. Yeah. Um, for my seniors, I anticipated them knowing how to set goals um, and have things organized, but the reality is a lot of them still didn't. So if we could start it earlier, we would be able to have more of a culture of goal setting and organization. Um, along with having a space of reflection that's safe, that's sacred, and that teaches them both the kids to talk to their students to build relationships. Uh, I think that's something that some of the girls helped me this year, and something that overall could help overall school culture uh, if utilized correctly and implemented right.